Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Step by Step. In the previous video, we learnt about the concept of deflected shape and we saw what are all the rules to make the deflected shape. And today we will discuss about the deflected shape of the beam and we'll use all those rules now. So if you haven't watched that video, just click on the i button and just enhance your concept of deflected shape. Now consider an example of beam. Here I am considering a continuous beam having all these three different kind of supports with an overhang at the end portion. And we will apply a moment at the center of the middle beam and we'll try to make its deflected shape by using all the rules which we have learnt in the previous video. So here we are going to use the rule of continuity of member and rule of continuity of support. We will start making deflected shape from the point where the moment is acting. We will see that in the right side of the moment, the beam will get sag a little bit and in the left part of the moment, the beam will get hog. So its deflected shape will be like this. Hence, due to this moment, we get the deflected shape of the center beam. Now let us see what will be the deflected shape of the overhang beam which is in the right side of the roller support. Here you will observe that the roller support ka left side wala beam hai, wo already has already made an angle hai due to the moment of the center beam. Now continuity of the member to maintain karne ke liye, jo right side of the roller support hai, wahan pe bhi same angle maintain karna hoga. Since you know that there is no support the end of the overhang, then the end of the overhang can move freely. So now we provide the same angle with the roller support on the right side. So if we provide the same angle, the end part can move freely, so the end part will move upward. The remaining part is the same angle for the roller support. So this is our overhang portion of the overhang portion of the overhang. तो ये हो गया हमारे पास ओवरहैंग पोर्शन का डिफ्लेक्टेड शेप। अब हम चलते हैं हमारे हिंद सपोर्ट की तरफ। अब इस हिंद सपोर्ट में भी हम कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ मेंबर का रूल का यूज़ करेंगे। तो यहाँ पे हमारे पास हिंद सपोर्ट के राइट साइड में जो एंगल मेंटेन हुआ है, सिमिलर एंगल हमें हिंद सपोर्ट के लेफ्ट साइड में भी मेंटेन करना तो इसमें भी हम सिमिलर एंगल प्रोवाइड कर देते हैं हिंद सपोर्ट के लेफ्ट साइड में भी एस हमारे हिंद सपोर्ट के राइट right साइड में जितना एंगल है तो अब क्वेश्चन ये अराइज होता है कि जो रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ द बीम है वहाँ पर डिफ्लेक्टेड शेप कैसा बनेगा बिकॉज हमारे पास एंड पोर्शन ऑफ द फर्स्ट बीम है वहाँ पर हमारे पास फिक्सड सपोर्ट है इस फिक्स सपोर्ट के लिए हमारे पास रूल है कंटिन्यूटी और सपोर्ट का कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ सपोर्ट में अगर कोई भी मेंबर फिक्स सपोर्ट से कनेक्टेड है तो उसका एंगल वहाँ पे कोई भी रोटेशन अलाउड नहीं होगा जो भी एंगल पहले था वो एंगल सेम बाद में भी मेंटेन रहेगा तो इस रूल को अप्लाई करने के बाद हमारे पास फर्स्ट वाले बीम का डिफ्लेक्टेड शेप भी बन जाएगा एंड दिस इज द ओवरऑल डिफ्लेक्टेड शेप ऑफ द कंटिन्यूस बीम अब हमने डिफ्लेक्टेड शेप तो बना लिया बट इसे क्रॉस चेक भी करना पड़ेगा तो हम इस डिफ्लेक्टेड शेप को क्रॉस चेक करेंगे विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्टेट प्रो सो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज आवर स्टेट प्रो सॉफ्टवेयर लेट्स क्रिएट अ न्यू फाइल एज पर आवर बीम मॉडल हियर विल सेलेक्ट स्पेस एंड विल गिव अ नेम एज अ डिफ्लेक्टेड शेप वन एंड विल टेक द यूनिट इन मीटर एंड फोर्स यूनिट एज अ किलो मीटर Eva next add beams finish. So this is a great system. We are going to do on the coordinate basis. So first what we will do is model the beam system over here and then we'll analyze it. So to create that first we'll create the node, then we'll create beam, then assign its properties, then applying the supporting conditions, applying load and analyze it to get our deflected shape. 
so i am creating the node starting from the 0 0 0 in second node the 3 meter span for the hinge support and then at the 6 meter for the other support and last coordinate at 8 meter for the overhanging so this is the coordinate, uh, nodal coordinates now let's assign let's create a beam over there just joining all the nodes to each other and that's all now we'll go to the general and we'll give the material as a concrete it is already by default then we'll go to the properties we'll define the properties we'll take the rectang rectangular section taking the depth of 0.3 meter and the width of 0.2 meter just add it now what we have to do just we have to assign to be to assign all the three beams so this is our beam now to show the nodes we have to press control sorry shift and a so we can see the nodal positions over here then we have to add the supporting conditions since we have a three different kind of supports so first one is fixed support this at the fixed section will take a fixed support and we have to add it then we have to create a hinge support so what we'll do here we'll take the option of fixed support but release at moment since hinge support don't take any of the moment so this is our hinge support then we'll create another uh, support for the roller support here also moment will not come and we have to release in the x axis for the roller support so we have to release for x and just keep the add so this is our roller support now we'll assign fixed support at the first node as we have taken in the example we'll assign yes then hinge support at the second node we'll assign yes and then th uh, roller support at the third node we'll assign it to and yes so our supporting condition has been assigned now we'll provide load 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 over here and since as per the example we have given a concentrated moment at the center of the span so we have to create moment at the center so we'll take the live load as a load case one add then we have to add add a concentrated moment over here let's take minus 10 kilonewton per kilonewton meter since we have to apply it a clockwise direction and we are taking uh, this at the center of the span so we are taking at 1.5 meter since our beam dimension is of 2 meter and we have to apply it in the z direction moment about z that's it now we have to select this node uh, this load and uh, we have to select the beam assign to selected beam and we have to display the nodes yes so this is our the uh, moment acting at the center of at the middle beam okay fine then for analysis we have to go to the perform analysis to it all and add now after that we have to go to the analysis and just give a run so our model has been run and we have to go to the post processing mode to get the deflected shape select this node and apply ok so this is our resultant shape so to uh, give an exaggerated view of the displacement let's exaggerate it pressing control and scrolling it to the upper side of the mouse so this is our the final deflected shape and this is similar as we have uh, designed in our animation video so it means our conditions whatever the rules has been provided that has been applied accurately and it is matching with that stat pro analysis also 
so hence you can use this method to draw any of the deflected shape without knowing any bending moment diagram and all just this is for the rough uh, idea but if you want to give the proper uh, deflection values then you have to analyze it properly and find it the particular section and uh, from there you can get the value of the deflection also so thank you so much this is uh, the deflected shape of the beam in the next video we will go to the deflected shape of the frame so stay tuned with me like subscribe and share thank you so much